In this video, we are going to show you how the server window can be used. Let's click on the main menu and click on Settings and then Server. On the Network tab, you can change the network connection of the HIAB. If you click on New, this allows you to create a new interface and you can make it virtual or physical. If you click on an interface and hit Delete, it will delete all the data involved with it as well. The Status button will show you all the information regarding the interfaces and HIAB connections. In the server windows, we can configure the various servers, as well as define a new one. You can select a proxy server, SNMP, Syslog, Splunk, or a database, and fill the information required. The next tab is the bandwidth limit. Here you can set limits by clicking on New, define the range of the network, and the limit the HIAB will be able to use. In the Certificates tab, we can administrate the SSL certificates for a secure connection. In the Remote tab, you can allow SSH access to the console and specify to which interface. Remember that SSH access requires an SSH key, and you can create a new one here at the bottom, and create your own.
In the Tools tab, you can set a host you want to troubleshoot, and it will execute those different commands. In the LDAP slash AD tab, you can connect an LDAP server or an Active Directory. And you have two options, either Primary Server or Failover. In the Status tab, you can see all the information regarding connectivity of the HIABs. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact support at support at outpost24.com.